Mississippi sea on my uh, left leg. The other leg, I've already done a hip replacement. So I'm aware that I have to do the other one. So when did you do operation? I'm, I'm a man of God. I'm working in Cape Town. Uh, yes. I've done in 2017. 17. Yes, I was uh, in the force in the SA Navy, so I was fit. And, you were fit. Uh, Can I you hear that? I was fit, so suddenly it started with this other one, and then I have to resign from the force and join. I'm now a policing at sea. So every day I'm getting into ships and... and uh, uh, do inspection on some favors. Can you see this is like something that has affected his career? <sighs> when I push you like this, you are getting healed. You are free. You are free. Test yourself. Test yourself. Test yourself. Yes, test yourself. Test yourself. How do you feel? It is better this one. It's better. And that's why when I'm sitting on the chair, I have to stand up and, and sit down. You won't do oppression in Jesus' name. Walk. Oh, let me see. Go back, test yourself. I want to see you perfect. Now you can run. Yes. Yes. You could not do like that. I cannot do this. You cannot do like this. So you are healed today. I'm healed today. God bless you. Okay, let's get another one. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is William Shilubani. Um, I'm... I was born in Lipombo, in Zanini, but currently I'm working in Cape Town since 1994, until now. Okay. So, sir, today during the service, the apostle called fi the apostle called forth people who are sick, and you went to the front. Can you just give us a background of what's been happening? Look, look, um, I have been attending this church since it was in in Winnie Mandela. So I've been following following this church. I even influenced my fiance to be to be with it's only unfortunate she she said she said work. But what what happened I'm working in Cape Town. So always when I, I learn from Cape Town before I go home I always come to church. It's either Wednesday or if, if I come back on Friday and then I wait until Sunday and then after church that is the time I go home. So you know the courage that gives me is because I've seen a lot of uh, uh, some other people being healed, you understand? So fortunately on that time I was attending I was not lucky. Uh, you know like today because today I told myself I've got faith. Today something is going to happen to me. So that's, so that's the reason I'm here. So, so what's been happening? Can you tell us why you went to the front? Where were you, where were you feeling pains? I was feeling heavy pain. You see, when I'm sitting in the chair, I'm always moving around. Because I can't be stand still. So I have to sometimes, to, if I st sit more than 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I have to stand up so that I can relax. So, so did you go to the doctor? Were you given any diagnosis? What did they say? Is, um, I've got tablets that I'm drinking, but I'm not drinking it every day. You know, this, this one is fine because they've already put a plate here on my, my hip. So I told myself I've got faith. I will never do this one again. It's not nice to do it, <laughs> I'm telling you. So the doctor just booked me to say, uh, I must go. January, I must, uh, I'm going for, 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 for an operation for replacement for this one. But the, the way I seen it first, I said, no, man, let me go to church. Something will happen. I'm, I'm not sure what, what's going to happen, but I've got faith I'm going to be healed. So what was happening today, I was feeling just like electrical in my leg. And then that's why you see, I can't do this that time. But now I can do this. You, you understand? Look, look I, I, I use not, not even to... to 
to turn my leg like this or this, but now I can pull my legs, I can do this. So I'm, I'm feeling like I'm back to the force where I used to be, that person, because I left even the defense force and went to work at sea. You know, you're losing your career and then go to another career which, and you're forced to go there because your, your legs is unfit, you can't do it. And I feel like I can go back now. <laughs> so you mentioned that you had to change your careers because of your the hips that were giving you a problem. How did that affect you? Yo, it was very bad because the from the hip, the knee, and even here in the middle of my leg, I used to feel pain. Even yesterday, I was in a flight. I, I just I just arrived yesterday, so I told myself before I go home, I'm going to church before. So that pain which I was feeling, it's, it's dead now. I don't feel anything, you see. Instantly, you understand. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if something happened, then I will make a phone call and say, hey, things is well, and I'm going to, to give a feedback when I'm in Cape Town to say that, yeah, it went well, I'm fine. Even the doctor confirmed, because I have to go again for a scan to check, for, to, for them to check to verify whether I can still go for an operation or not. Uh -huh. And so how do you feel that after prayer, you got instantly healed? Yo, it was a miracle man, to me. That was my first time. You know, this pain has been killing me. But, but I don't know, maybe it's a heritage from home because I've got two sisters, the eldest one. They are already, the other one 65, the other one 71. They've done both. But myself, I told them, I'm not going to do that. I'd rather go to church. The, the, the things, the spirit that caused us this, it must go back to where it's coming from. You see, if you got faith on that. So myself, I told them, myself, I've got faith. This, this uh, pain, it will go away. Uh. And so how would you encourage somebody who's currently facing what you faced before you got instantly healed today? You know what? I've got, I've got a, a, a cousin of mine. She's got the same, same, same problem, but she's got arthritis and so, and even the knee. I, if I can show you the, on my cell phone, I did send her, she, she's working, she's a aid in Lipombo, she's a school a, a teacher. I encourage her that she must come here, she must come here, and I'm telling you, this video, when I'm going to check it on my phone, because I, I think you're going to send it, I'm saying, I'm going to show her, and I'm telling you she's going to come. Yes, yes. And even my, 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 my fiance, but my fiance, she always coming here, man. She, because I encourage her to come here. Don't say when I'm in Cape Town, you don't attend anymore. So she's always attending. You see. Uh. And to the viewers who are going to come across this clip, what do you have to say to them? I, I'm, uh, I'm just going to say you must have that belief. If you've got faith, you're going to be ill. But if you, you don't have faith, you're not going to believe. And you must be true. You must be open about what you have so that you can get healed. Kileke tsoga ka Monday, ka palla go tsoga mo ka bakala le otule. From the hip go fihla ko menwane, a ke gone go tsamae. A ke tsoro ke because I went to the hospital go zame go hle on Tuesday. Ba ra ba bone se le bankisha ko skene nga ba bone nix. Ba re bana hana gore ke mo ke ke spine. Well, doctor was spine ha te ngo tswa le tsi ba ke doctor maini o tlo ba bo ka di the bana ke gone go tsama ya bo tsi ke kwa peini mo lotolla can you hear this is what i'm talking about that if we carry on concentrating on the issue of your headache running stomach what 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 this is a problem of our sister stand up and use your crutches to come to me you can see my sister she's feeling pains Who came with her? Says Lori, give me a So you're the one. So you saw her that other people are healed. Yes. All right. And they say you want to bring her. Yes. Okay, come, sister, come. You can see my sister is very tough. This is the issue I'm talking about. That you people here. You want us to pray for you for a job, for things that we're supposed to be believing God for. 
Sister, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus can heal. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Stand straight. Stand straight. You are healed. Live. Lift up. Lift up. Sister, come. You are healed. Come. Live. Live to walk. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Work, sister. Carry on walking. Look at her. Look at this little... Stand up and appreciate God. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. This is what I'm telling you about. Sister. My sister, come. Look at, put your hands down and walk majestically. Walk. Uh -huh. My God, though. My God. My God. How do you feel? Sister, how do you feel? So you can't get a little bit Today during the service, the apostle called forth people who are sick and mommy came forward who was crutches bound and she's going to explain to us what's been happening. Ma, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, Greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Lishidi Tobejani. And then on Monday, on Monday, I could not wake up. And then I asked my neighbor to take the car so that she can accompany me to a hospital. And then her fitla hospital because when we reached the hospital, when we reached the hospital, they took X-rays and they could not find anything wrong within me. I have a problem with my left leg. From my hip, from the hip to my toes. And then, doctor ula chega ariena aboni nixi. When the doctor examined me, he said he does not see anything wrong. And then aru utan refere la ho omuwa di doctor aru bara kaka mara poli le spinal aru ona le pele le aru re problem ki spinal le saka sna le problem. And she said she will refer me to a doctor who specializes with bones and the spines and she's also suspecting that the problem might be with my spine. And then I fit like a doctor ke ke la September Roger Leafy Dr. Maine. And when I got there I was told that the doctor um has taken leave. And then uto ba bo ka di 10 and the doctor will only be able to come back to hospital on the 10th. And then ma rishana ka ile ho Mama Baja Baja. And my neighbor who's Mama Baja Baja. And then I took on to check because we were together. Came to me to check me because we work together. And then we are today with a demo charis. Are we together, Paulo? And she and she and she suggested that we come together to church and that I'm going to get healed. And I can not get forty. And I am healed. So, Mama, um, today during the service, when the apostle called forth people, um, 
who were sick. You came forward and you could not do anything. You were sitting on the chair. Can you just explain to us what's been happening? from the parking. So from the parking, I could not walk. And then three. And three men came. And then Bangkuka. And they carried me. And then Bambia Stulong. And they put me on the chair. And then When the pastor called forth people who were sick. And then I went to the fourth, at least I could walk a bit. And then And when I got to the front, he prayed for me. And he told me that I am healed and it's true that I am healed. Because I am no longer using my crutches. I'm no longer using this. I'm no longer using this. She says she's no longer using these crutches and that she's healed. Thank you. Mama is thanking God that she's healed. Um, she was even having a trip to go to Limpopo, but she couldn't. And she's saying that just because she can walk now, she's going to go home as well.